Alright, we're here for round two, currently 0-1. And this hand looks like a better representation of what our deck's trying to do. I'm getting, I'm getting accustomed to things. Kind of know how we're supposed to function. Uh, Gitaxian Probe is probably pretty bad for our Quirk Clan Shaman, because the Shaman does not hit flyers. So, we'll see what happens. Maybe our opponent is a Kiln Fiend strategy. Who knows? Probably reading all my stupid cards. What do they do? Nothing. Nothing. Forest? Okay, okay. Terrarian. One's got some cyclers. Okay, so this is probably Major's Daily Digest from Monday. Maybe? I don't know. It's like a little, little token go wide deck, which uh, obviously Quark Island Shaman is quite good against. I'm going to cheat and pull that deck up. Oh, Glade Cupper Scout. Nope. Nope, different deck. This is not the Keep Watch deck. This is just a Bogle deck. Well, am I supposed to take out the Scout right now? I'm not sure. <clears throat> we have two artifacts. So at least now we'll get to, yeah, we'll get to, get to trade the Shaman for the Rancor, too. Bink. Oh, more Bogles. More Bogles. Opponent just Bogle rich. All right. Uh, I should have played the Great Furnace last turn, I guess. Because now I can't crack and rebirth and angler, I don't think. Nope. Can crack away the. Or I can rebirth the Great Furnace and play angler. Crack doesn't really do anything against Rancor anyway. So if we're gonna rebirth the furnace, we'll have two mana with four artifact or four cards in the yard, and we can crack the star for black. So if we're gonna do that, we might as well start by cracking this for black. I'm just great furnace rich over here. Boom! Five five. Can you beat it? Because I only have lands, so I hope not. Lands and cracks. Ancestral Mask, good god that's good. Still not willing to trade. Seven, five, Jesus. Ancestral Mask is busted. We just sack a mountain to make them use their mana on Rancor next turn. It's kind of pathetic. Ugh. I think we hammer. It's hammer time. It's possible I should have traded a goblin for two damage there too. The Dillos. The Armadillos. We can't beat that. It's too good. It's too good. Where are my Chainer's Edicts at? 
kind of helps, sort of, maybe. Get it with one. Hopefully, they only have Rancor. Only Rancor, please. No! Paying costs. All right. I can beat the scout. That's fine. Uh oh. Yeah, more Gurmies. All right. Gurmy so large. 13 to 17. Who's going to win? It's anyone's game, really. I guess we just sit here. I don't know what we're really doing. Can't beat a giant monster with armadillo cloak. Need to get rid of that glade cover scout and edict my opponent somehow. My opponent keeps drawing lands. That's great. No, not evolving wilds. How do I beat a 9 7? Uh oh. Okay, okay, it could be anything. Oh, so close. So close to not really being close at all. Rats. Now they know all our secrets. So we drop Goblin Matron, what do we get? Our Kruk Clan dude is gone. Got another one of those in the board though. I feel like this matchup gets a lot better after sideboarding. Ooh, Rightening Bolt. It's probably not going to do much. Okay, okay, 11 9. It's big. Still just trades with the Gurmies. Gonna have to find something else. Ooh, Ethereal Armor. That's game. That's game. That's it. Gotta throw a Gurmy in front of that thing. 18, 16. Good God. It's so large. We'll keep playing like we have outs, even though we don't. I'm just going off here. Rats. Rats and beasts and elf scouts. Got a lot of sideboard goodies though. Shaman, two electricories, two edicts. Leave no trace, destroy target enchantment, each other enchantment that shares a color, that's gas. Get in my deck. Get in there. All right, Sparksmith, you're out. Bolts, you're out. I'll keep the sledders, I guess. Don't need this flame slash. One more. I think Molten Rain's good. Crack. Crack has got to be good. All right, we'll cut one of the sledders. All right, we'll try this again. Now we've got a bunch of ways to kill Big Bogle. Okay, okay. I'm down. Need a black source for these weirdings, but we'll get there. It's all good. It's all good. Get a sack the Wellspring to the Shaman. Love it. Quark Clan Shaman is gas. Man, imagine if I had a Sledder and I could actually protect my Quark Clan Shaman. Ooh. Matron could be anything, even a Goblin Sledder. You gonna do pound me for one? Yeah, I'll take that. What 
Okay, okay. I'm wondering that maybe at some point it'll be tight. Metamorphose is good. All right, I'll molten rain all your lands. Or I'll do no such thing. Hmm. I think I should crack. I'm a crack. Maybe draw a little land. Eh, it's a land. Not the land we wanted. It's good though. Edicts are online. Okay, opponent just kind of going off over here. Uh, I think I'm going to let that slide. I think that's okay. I think I got some edicts, and I'm not really too scared. Bang. Now I've got your other bogle covered too. Covered so many ways. Oh. New and improved bogle, I see. Crumbling vestige. Uh, so this is the part where we matron for the sledder, I think. Oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, the Mog Raider. Blossoming Sands, so powerful. Ooh, that's tight. Get out of here, Bogle. No one wants you here. Get out. All right, should we molten rain their sand? To ding them? Or should we get the Utopia Sprawl? Let's get the sand. Yeah, that's right. Combo deck. Combo deck. All right, we want any of this nonsense. Could use another sledder, I guess. It is kind of the plan. Popper is such a weird format. Man, leave no trace is so good. I don't want to board on a crack. The old crack on the draw doesn't seem too great. We get to the all one mana spell deck. Let's go. Let's kill some more Bogles. I don't think I've ever beaten Bogles, like, heads up in, in a fair battle in my life. You know, it's always just like, oh, man, hope they get mana screwed or whatever. Hope my Liliana of the Veil sticks. But I've never played against Bogles and been like, yeah, this is going to be really good for me. Just never happened. If you play against me in a tournament, you better hope you're playing Bogles, because I'll probably die. This hand is gross. Got two ways to kill a Bogle. What more could you want? Could uh, could want to be on the play, I suppose. So our like trickery is like actually guaranteed to connect, but they just have it every time. They just always have it. They're so slippery. So slippery. Alright, bunnet growth. 
not a big deal. So the issue here is if they play something like Ethereal Armor, and then I Edict their Bogle, and then they play another Bogle and pump it up immediately, then I'm in big trouble. Ooh, Young Wolf. That's really good against Edicts. Holy crap. Good God. Young Wolf. It's just good deck building right there. Good deck building. Pants up your Bogle now. See what happens. I'm ready for you. I got the trickery coming. Nah, I don't really want to deal with that Rancor. No trick. No trick. Yeah, dead Bogle. Dead Bogle. Only three cards left? God, do I have to edict away this young wolf? That's so sad. So sad and pathetic. Uh, let's go Wellspring. Ooh, Molten Rain. I'm gonna make it rain. Need to deal with this young wolf through more traditional means. Is it time? Is it time to pants up the young wolf? Ooh, Glade Cover Scout. Scout is still covered. Oh man, young wolf rich. Okay, my opponent doesn't have a lot of mana though. Boom. Get out, Utopia Sprawl. Maybe Gurmy can stabilize us next turn. That is the hope. Just four damage, anemic creature beats. B, R. New Mog Raider, what's up? What is up? Come on, Kermy. Come on! Beat up these young wolves. Ooh, Colony Garden. That's really good against Edix, too. My Warren Weirding was just embarrassing this game. Thank God I had Electricery. I don't think we're going to be attacking. Does not seem very fruitful. All right, opponent just going off with all these metamorphoses. What do we got here? A little ancestral mask. That could be a problem. Could use another electricery. Nope, they still have two two young wolf. Hmm. Well, hopefully Gurmy can hold them back. Oh, double Warren Weirding. All right. All right. What if I should hold the star until I draw? Until I draw the thing with the stuff. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, the Leave No Trace. That's the one. Nah. Rawr! More Gurmies. Oh dear. 9-9. Nine, nine. I still got it covered on the double block. Still can't really attack, can you? Nope. Alright. Ooh. Oh, Doctor. Is this it? Are we doing it? 
All right, so, hmm. Oh, we're so close to doing it. So we can matron for Crow Clan Shaman. We have to kill both these young wolves. It's just not gonna happen. I think I have to matron for shaman and play it. So we'll start with the wellspring. Okay. All right. Just need to hold for a turn. Hold for a turn. Armadillo Cloak, okay. It's not bad. 1515, that's large. Gotta block that thing. I think we got him, though. We got him on the ropes. Still not attacking? That is great. I guess I could have just like traded everything. Alright, alright. This is dope. I'm making this happen. Okay, Chromatic Star. That's not bad. Um... Alright, so what do we do here? Definitely want to put three triggers on the stack. First one will resolve, Young Wolf die, it'll come back, and then two more will happen, and then we get to Edict Away stuff. Uh, so I think we do that. Guess we get to see what we draw off the Wellsprings. Make sure I'm not messing this up too bad. Alright, so we got three damages on the stack. Uh, now, how to proceed. I think this is okay. I think we want to Mog Raider some stuff. I'm not missing anything, am I? Hopefully not. Dying happens, one damage, two damage. Uh, wellspring, Edict you. Doing it. Ooh, a sledder. Ooh, we're close to killing him. Not quite. Boom! Oh, Crookland Shaman, you're so good. So good! Yes! Gurmy wins! Gurmy wins.